Well, once again, out there making it another great day, and I'm down in historic downtown Dunedin, checking out, seeing what's open, and what all's going on, and maybe some artwork. I got some new stuff on the walls down here. I'm sitting in one of these big, gigantic chairs, you know, uh, from a store called Key West Express. They're, uh, they're a shop down here. There's many shops down here. Definitely go out and support those local businesses uh, right now. They need that. Eat at a local restaurant. I'm probably going to get something to eat down here because I am getting hungry. Maybe a lemonade. I'm a little thirsty. So let's go wander around downtown Tunedin once again, as we always have done before, and I always enjoy coming down here. Uh, it's coming at you right now. Right there on the floor, Gigi. Oh my God. Where are you going in such a hurry, boy? Not even a slight bit of mild nudity. Hey everybody, this is John Schneider. We are the Grav Rack Brothers from the Planet Fuckathon. Hey, this is Butch Patrick from the Munsters. I'm going to put you out of the jail and throw away a key. Making a great Making day. Making a great day. Because yes. you deserve it. Yes, you, you do. You deserve it. You deserve a great day. It is a gorgeous day in beautiful, historic downtown Dunedin. I'm going to be walking around, seeing what's open. And uh, I've seen a little bit of people and a little bit of traffic going on here in the city of Dunedin. And it's a nice day to take a little afternoon stroll, don't you think? There is a series of signs here to direct you to all kinds of places, from shops to restaurants to taverns to salons and more shops. And I do believe they're all open. I just thought these were kind of neat, a little windmill type things twirling around here in a place called Our House, a very fine house shop. One of the many fountains over here in Dunedin. And the shops are open. They have stuff out here ready for clearance, looks like. And uh, since they're open, come in and shop with us. Here's one of many public parking facilities here in Dunedin. It is during the week and it is windy. Not a lot of cars. I like this big octopus here on the side of this building, which is called Pisces Sushi and Global Bistro. They don't seem to be open right now, but this restaurant right here, the living room, restaurant and lounge, does seem to have patrons. See a couple people with masks, a lot of people without masks. Just a lot of cool artwork to behold down here in downtown Dunedin. According to where you walk and where you look around, you can find all kinds of cool things to look at. Even in some of the alleys here in Dunedin, there's some pretty cool murals. And uh, here's a couple of dancing pigs. I had never seen those before. Maybe they're part of the smokehouse up the street. I'm not sure. There's even a bunch of dogs out here on the side of the, a uh, wine store dogs and cats a lot of them well I've spotted one of the big oranges right here at this bar which is not open yet uh, maybe this evening I see an outdoor lighting company they're roping up lights in the rounds of trunks of these trees getting ahead of the season I guess getting ready this looks like a good little park with a lot of picnic tables that I could possibly get me some lunch and come out here and eat. I'm thinking about grabbing me some lunch somewhere. I've always wanted to eat over here at Casatina's Authentic Mexican. Never have got a chance to. Maybe one day, there's a brick oven, pizza and wine bar next door. What do I want to eat? One of the cool things they're doing in downtown Dunedin for their graduates of 2020 this year, they're adopting a poll for different graduates. And this girl's name is Joy Miller. Got her photo up here, it says congrats grad, and it's even got, it looks like one of her towels. So that's kind of cool. Each one has a different student, and uh, just showing their support. They even have a big banner here, it says congrats graduates, the city of Dunedin is proud of you. And uh, there's some people on the Pinellas Trail today on the old bicycles. I wish I had a bicycle. I'd like to get one, like a mountain bike, I guess. that's what I'm thinking. 
They do have signs posted here to keep your distance with six feet while going the distance here on the Pinellas Trail. This is part of the Pinellas Trail. I always like this railroad crossing here in Dunedin at the Pinellas Trail. Here is the famous boxcar in downtown Dunedin. It was closed for a while. Now it is reopened back up as Lane's Lemonade, fresh squeezed lemonade, limeade, and orangeade. That's their main squeezes on their menu, it looks like. They have some sandwiches there, grilled cheese and a Cuban, and they also have soft serve ice cream. You can get the orange vanilla or the vanilla orange twist. Well, no lemonade for me. They are closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All the luck. They're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, though. I'll have to come back. That orange freeze sounds good, and so is the orangeade here at Lane's Lemonade. Well, that was a bust. There's a very cool train here on the side of the building at the Dunedin Historic Museum. They have a conductor out here in front of the Dunedin History Museum. The Dunedin History Museum is located in an old train depot. I'm not sure if they're open today. We'll come back some other time. Here's just one of the streets of many shops and restaurants here in downtown Dunedin. I always like coming over here, checking it out, walking around enjoying the day. Dunedin is an art community. Many of these communities are art communities, but they have a place here called Paint Your Own Pottery. Art from the Heart Cafe. You can go right in there and paint away. I'm back here at the back of the art gallery, where also they have the Penny Lane Beatles Museum, which is free upstairs on certain days. But this here building, they have repainted this with some pretty cool looking colors and artwork. Last time I was down here, I don't believe it looked like this. Yes, I am into art, so I like a colorful artistic building like this. It's a realty, a realty company upstairs, looks like. And I think somebody just fell over here. I think I found the culprit who has painted this building, this little boy right here, possibly, because he does have a pen. I guess that's to give you an impression that he did it, but I don't think he did. Somebody else did. Well, they do have a phone booth out here. You don't see too many phone booths in uh, public areas. I don't think it works. It looks like something you might see in Britain, maybe in England. There's a store down here called the Candy Bar Sweets and Treats. One of the only candy stores here in Dunedin. Dunedin, they're a very patriotic city small community and they have a big sign here it says defending freedom on one side and then on the other the other side says the exact same thing defending freedom honoring u.s military right here in the small town of dunedin there's a few people out and about a lot of traffic a lot of traffic i've come across a sign that says street tacos taco baby hmm ain't even tuesday but they got my interest a lot of them doing takeout, even ice cream takeout. Mmm, take it outside, it might melt. I am going to get some street tacos here from Karis Karis, which have a stand here, but they have a restaurant as well, south of the main street on Broadway, so you want to go check them out. Taco Baby, right here, and he is making me some street tacos back there. All right, here we go. Here is my street tacos. I'm ready to go and I'm gonna go eat. Well, here I am with these tacos. Small, small tacos, street tacos. I got a chicken one and a pork one. It's got everything on it, looks like. I'm gonna try this. Well, they have a very nice seating area right behind this little taco, street taco stand. I finished my tacos and what I do like that they have is the glass bottled sodas. They had the Coke and they had all kinds of different Mexican uh, sodas. Here's Taco Baby. Them street tacos were awesome. This is the side of their little hut right here on the street in Dunedin. Great little spot. Very reasonable. Very tasty. Uh, the pork taco had pineapple on it. I had never had pineapple on a taco, but it was awesome. And the chicken one, it had a little bit of corn there. The building right here is one of the newest buildings they built down here for retail 
shopping, all the retail shopping is at the bottom. You know, an ice cream place up in the top. That's uh, apartments and housing. So it's a win-win situation. Here is the fountain that I thoroughly enjoy here in downtown Dunedin. It's one with all these birds. It always looks so refreshing. Especially on a hot, hot day. You just jump right in there. It's 89 degrees out here. Street sign says Scotland Street. You'd think they'd be a private investigator's office here, but no, it's an attorney. Here's a really cool house. It's a little white picket fence. There's a swing out there on the tree. And everything's wonderful. I hear hammer and nail going on. They're fixing her up. It's called a flip this house. Almost looks like the Amityville house, doesn't it? I have came across a house that has an interesting structure at the on the front of the house two big star mirrors at the front end of a bicycle must have been maybe their favorite favorite bike and they wanted to keep it and they got it up there mounted i have found some interesting mailboxes made out of all kinds of seashells in front of this house must be a neighbor plan all kinds of rock work and very, very cool to be out here and very creative to get that creative with your mailbox. I found this house rather interesting. I like the foliage and the palms and the different types of palms around this one. It's got a nice upstairs balcony. Sit out there and relax. Somebody's up there in a hammock, I believe. I have discovered something else unique. This house, they have a big gas pump out in front of their front yard. How cool is that? It's a... Uh, white rose that's an old timey gas pump and i think on the other side there's some more they got a big sky chief gas pump here at the side of their garage and another gasoline pump well i have came across the gym here this gentleman's allowed me to come into his yard and check out all his cool signs that he's got back here and he's got a lot of old collectible metal signs Here's one, the Dukes of Hazard fans would probably like this, a, a Dixie Rebel sign. And he's got one here for a milk company. Uh, Whit, Whit, Whittler, I can't read it all uh, because, of the, because of the foliage. And there's Mohawk gasoline. There's a smaller one up above. And over here's one, Mang, Mangolia Petroleum Company. That one's in pretty mint condition. And here's an old Sinclair sign. That's pretty neat. How many people out there remember Fire Chief gasoline? The old Texaco brand with the old fireman's helmet. That one's in mint condition as well. So pretty cool that he's got all these out here. This old Sinclair gas pump right here. Right here in the backyard. And uh, pretty restored. Looks pretty darn cool love finding these type of places and i'm just walking along the street and found this he has a thermometer around here advertising non-carbonated beverages and uh he's got some coke signs he said he had a bunch of coke memorabilia v dole motor oils i've never heard of that one maybe somebody out there has well i am told that this white rose gas pump here is 100 percent original it's not a refurb or anything like that it is a hundred percent real gas pump and it's not a restore deal so it's in mint can pretty much mint condition here and he's got it right out here in his front yard I wonder how many people stop for gas here and think they're just getting bad service oh i found another item here it's not gas related it's one of those things uh i know what this is it's uh you get on it and you uh, pump this thing and the thing spins and you would sharpen a knife or something with with this. I remember an episode of Dukes of Hazard. Uncle Jesse was sitting on one of these and he was sharpening a knife. Here is a close-up of the Texaco Sky Chief pump. I just love finding these things. These are so cool to look at. The old gas pumps. Maybe they'll bring full service back one day. I tell you, the force is strong in Dunedin 
with mailboxes. Here is a Star Wars mailbox. How do you like that? Right across the street from the guy that has all the gas pumps. I tell you, this swing right here looks like that would be a lot of fun for many hours here in this big, gigantic moss tree. I don't want to try it though. It belongs to somebody, it's in their yard. This here is a doodle wall. I see a Pac-Man goes there. Uh, Three-eyed monster playing a guitar. And there's even a Corona with lime. Imagine that. Plenty of people biking here along the Pinellas Trail. I must say their bus stop is quite colorful here. And they're even showing off their dogs as well. And a lot of wheels and boats. Very inviting and colorful. It is not a packed crowd down here, as you can tell. There's a lot of a lot of parking spaces. There's people out and about. I've seen quite a few people. People are keeping their distance, but it's a nice relaxing day not to have a whole bunch of people around. There's even social distancing axes on the sidewalk in front of this restaurant. Uh, we know what happens with them axes and them. Uh, Wiley e. Coyote movies, don't we? I've always thought this sign said "Welcome to Dunedin," but it says "Welcome to Dog Eden." Dog Eden. There's a lot of dogs on the side of this wall here, as well as the other ones we've seen. Dogs and more dogs. There's the Pinellas Trail and cats hanging from the trees. Even more dogs and pets. Side of this building is Realty Company. They got a nice little lighthouse there as well. They've even decided to congratulate their class of 2020 here on the side of this mural of this building. Well, this has been fun down here in downtown Dunedin once again. Just enjoying the afternoon away from people. Not a lot of people out down here, which is good. Had some great tacos. Uh, awesome, awesome tacos. It's getting a little warm. It's close to 89 degrees. I did get my hair trimmed earlier in the week, which I was happy about. Seen some artwork down here I hadn't seen before, which is always cool to come down here and find something new. And uh, hopefully festivals will get going again. The Dunedin Seafood Festival is been postponed till up until October. Hopefully we can get back down here to do that. That's always a great, great event, the Dunedin Seafood Festival. They did have to cancel it due to the COVID-19. Uh, we're going to go out there and uh, find another beautiful day, to, something else to check out. That was pretty cool. We found those gas pumps and those old gas signs and the old signings that that man had at his house. And I was just walking along the street, just taking a, taking a walk after eating and just came across it. And some pretty cool mailboxes as well. Um, try to... Do what you think is right when you go out. Um, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Uh, do what you feel is comfortable. If you want to stay home, stay home. Uh, if you're not feeling well, stay home. Um, I'm not going to not go outside and just stay inside. Uh, you you got to get out a little bit. I mean, you really do. Uh, I'm about going stir crazy staying in. I am staying in. I'm not around a lot of people, which I don't want to be around a lot of people. And uh, that's why I'm keeping my distance and uh, out of here for a nice little leisure walk and seeing what's going on. And as you can tell, a lot of stuff in Dunedin is open. People are out and about and uh, people uh, waving at me as I'm doing my little spiel here and winding down. I'm getting tired. I'm going to go home. So uh, remember to keep going out there, making it a great day, best way you know how, because you deserve it.